Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines Dating a Filipina Course Part 3. So in the last episode we looked at the financial side of things so showing you what sort of costs may come up when you're dating a Filipina and it's very important to know that from the start to decide whether you're in a reasonable financial position to be able to afford these things as you go through your relationship with a Filipina. So if you're now happy that you can cover those costs as you move through this relationship, then you can move into part three of the All About the Philippines Dating a Filipina course. And in part three, we're looking at what type of Filipina you are searching for. So having a really good think about the sort of woman that you want, and we'll go through step by step in giving you a lot of food for thought around the sort of woman that you're searching for. So let's now just dive straight into the video. So one of the first things you're probably going to consider when you're thinking about what type of Filipina that you're searching for will be the age factor. Now, looking at how old you are and how old you want your Filipina to be is a very important thing. Are you comfortable having a larger age gap or are you more comfortable with a woman closer to your age? Now, we do see on occasions that uh, some very young Filipinas in their early 20s do date old and marry older Western men in their 60s and 70s. And you have to wonder to yourself if that's going to be a good fit for you. And really, if you are in your 60s or 70s and you're chasing a 20-year-old Filipina, you probably need to think about what is the purpose of getting such a young woman. Now, this, this woman who's in her early 20s is bound to change a lot over the next 10 or so years, as a young woman in any country would do. But when she's now in a very adult relationship with a very much older man, you're going to have to think to yourself, what are you going to have in common, if anything? Now, some people say you don't really need to have a lot in common. You will find common ground as you go along, and maybe that's the case. But are you looking for a younger woman just to show off and say, look, I might be old, but I can still draw the young, sexy woman? Or are you looking more of a companion style relationship as you get older so you have somebody uh, to talk to so you won't be lonely and maybe somebody younger who can always look after you as you go into your older years now if that's the case that's fine as long as you and the Filipina know the, the score on that and you're not deceiving her and she's not deceiving you then for some people they might feel more comfortable with a woman closer to their own age, maybe, you know, five, 10 years, and others might be happy for a 20 or 30 year age gap. Now, all those have merit, and there's nothing wrong with any of those. Myself, I'm in a 20 year age gap, and everything works perfectly fine, and we have a very good relationship and a very deep love. And really, this decision around the age is very much a personalized decision for you to really have a think about, if you've got a really big age gap, are you going to be worried by what people are saying in your community? Maybe even your own family if you've got kids. Are they going to be critical of you? And every time you walk down the street, are you you're going to have people looking at you and saying, oh, look, you know, pointing fingers, all this sort of thing, which does happen. So this decision around the age gap is not to be taken lightly and you really need to consider it because it does have effects going forward. Now, moving forward from that, you're going to be looking at, do you want a, a woman who's been married in the Philippines and is separated and probably a little bit older, you know, maybe in her 30s, 40s, or are you looking for a single woman who's never been married? And as I say, that could possibly anywhere from 20 up to uh, even 30s or 40s in some instances, but they may not have been married in the Philippines. Now, both these types of women, the separated or the single, have positives and negatives to each of those type of women. Now, let's firstly look at a woman who, who may be separated in the Philippines. Now, she may have got married in the Philippines, might have been 10, 15 years ago, and for the last five or 10 years, she may be separated. 
Now, what you've got to realize in the Philippines is that when a woman marries over there, there is no divorce. They can get an annulment, but it is quite expensive and it does take some time and very few Filipinas will have got an annulment. Now, because adultery is illegal in the Philippines, so you need to be very careful if you're now dating a separated woman and you really need to find out if she is separated so you can make an informed decision yourself about whether you want to have sexual relations with her while you're in the Philippines or not. Now, you can do that by doing a cinema online check, which is a certificate of no marriage in the Philippines. That's C-E-N-O-M-A-R, cinema. And you can easily find that just by doing a Google search. And you can actually do a search online, but you will need her consent to do that. And you will need all her details as per the online search form and that will cost you around $25 US to complete and it does give you good peace of mind you can check through my videos that I've got um, I do have some on cinema so you can check out my playlist on the Philippines relationship playlist and that will have plenty in there on doing a cinema now a further word of warning around this adultery in the Philippines is that you're also opening yourself up to being scammed by a third party. So for example, you might be having sexual relations with your now girlfriend in the Philippines who has been married before but been separated for 10 years and all of a sudden her husband finds out about it and he might think this is a way I can make some money. So he may threaten you to file a case against you in the Philippines for adultery. Now that's something in the Philippines to take very, very seriously. You don't want a case being filed against you and then all of a sudden you're spending the next few years in a Filipino jail waiting for your case to come up in, in court. So it can be quite scary if that happens and it does happen on occasions. People see an opportunity to make money out of what they perceive to be a rich foreigner and they will use that and what are you going to do if someone comes to you and says, look, I know you're sleeping with my wife. It's illegal here, so I'm going to file a case against you unless you give me 200,000 pesos, for example. So if you don't want to be scammed, you really need to think about this very much. Because while it's not super common in the Philippines for that to happen, it does happen sometimes and you don't want to be the unlucky one that happens to now, the plus side on dating a separated woman is that she might be very set in her way. So she might be very settled in life. She's had her kids, possibly, and she's ready to lead a good life with you and knows what she wants in life. And she's ready to settle down and uh, have a great life going forward. Now, when we look at a younger, single, never been married Filipina, uh, the advantages there are that she may not have any kids. She may still have a very beautiful figure. She may have lots of energy. And you might think that she makes you feel a lot younger to be around. So it gives you a lot of energy and it's very exciting for you to be around her. And of course, it can be very flattering to you to feel that a young, beautiful Filipina wants to be with you. But as I said earlier, how will that affect you and your family? If you've got kids who are maybe even older than her, are they going to be happy with that? And does that matter to you if they are or they're not? And are you going to be able to handle what the society or your community throws at you around this? They may not say so much, but it'll be those constant looks and pointing and whispers, that sort of thing. Are you the sort of person that gets bothered by that? And then you really need to remember that a young Filipina in her early 20s is going to change quite a lot, where you in your 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever the age may be, is pretty settled in their own life and pretty comfortable with who they are. And they're not changing like a Filipina who's in their 20s is going to change as the years go by. And that's a natural progression to draw away from each other rather than drawing into each other. And of course, when people drift apart, 
then they end up separating and going their own separate ways. So if you're looking for a long-term relationship that's going to stand the test of time, then you really probably be looking for a more settled Filipina if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s and above. Now, other points to consider are things like education. How important is her education to you? Is it important that she's been through school, high school and into university and got herself a degree of some kind? And with that, she probably will speak a good type of English or to you, does it not matter if she's got an education or not? Now, many girls from province areas may not have the education that girls from the city will have. Just typically speaking, that is. Not on every occasion, but typically speaking. There are many more province girls who may not finish their schooling, probably because they just can't afford it, their families can't afford it, or they're needed at home to help around the house. So if it's important to you that your Filipina has some education about it, you probably want to start searching in the city areas. And if not, well, you can search city or province areas. Now going on from that, and it sort of comes back to education a little bit, is the communication. Now how well do you want to be able to communicate with your Filipina? Whilst English is fairly widely spoken through the Philippines, it's more so the educated Filipinas who will have the best communication skills in English with you. They will be able to speak it and they'll be able to interpret it and understand English a lot more than a girl from the province, as I say, who's uh, really not been to school that much. And she, she will still have a bit of English and you will be able to communicate with her, but it depends what level of communication you want. And I know from the girls from the province, as you, they speak to you more and more, then their English over time does become a lot better. Now, the next thing you might consider is uh, things like family values. Are you looking for a Filipina who has good family values? Well, a lot of Filipinas certainly do have fantastic family values. And that's one of the things that attract a lot of Western men to look for a Filipina is that in the West, a woman with those family values has long disappeared. Generally, not in all cases, but generally. There's not as many women who have those strong family values. And that's a big attraction in going to the Philippines and finding a Filipina. And many Filipinas, especially in the province areas, still have those very strong family values. Now, the next thing we look at is employment. Is it important for you that she's independent and she's out there earning her own money in the Philippines, or does it not matter to you? Now, I think for many people, they want to see that she's a hard worker. It shows something about herself and she's doing everything she can in her life to make her life a little bit better and more comfortable by working. And does it matter to you what sort of job she does? So does it matter if she's a sales cashier at one of the department stores or if she's a hotel cleaner does that really matter to you or is the, the point that you're looking for is that she's just trying to do her best that's something for you to consider as well and another quick point around employment is that in the philippines it is very hard to get a job and e even a basic type of job unless you've completed a college degree of some sort you will often see the ads for jobs and it will say college degree as a minimum. So a lot of those girls that have lived in the province areas that may have finished school because they can't afford to go to school, then the chances are for many of those province girls, they're not going to have a job apart from maybe helping in the family business if they've got a Surrey Surrey store or something similar to that. So that's something else for you to weigh up how important that is or not important that is in your decision when you're looking for a particular type of Filipina and getting that in your mind, what sort of woman you are looking for. Now, the next thing you want to think about, and, and I encourage you to actually write this down on a piece of paper, is to think about what sort of qualities you want in your Filipina. You know, do you want her to be honest, trustworthy, reliable, hardworking, family values, all these sorts of things. What do you want 
her to have as far as her values are and how important is that to you that she has some that might match with your own values so again get a piece of paper write it down right now hit the, hit the pause button and complete that now and see what you come up with because it's really good to understand that before you go looking for your own filipina now this next point may sound a little bit superficial but to many men it's very very important and that is is it important to you that your filipina is very sexy with a great body much like the one we got here in this picture or is it more about the personality side of it and the reliability and dependability side of that filipina and that she matches with you and what you feel would be very compatible to you and remember if, if you choose that you want a super sexy looking looking uh, filipina nothing wrong with that but remember then how's your jealousy levels around that because she's going to get a lot of attention especially if you bring her to your country in the west that she's going to be a sought after woman in the west and she will get a lot of attention especially from the younger guys so will you be able to handle that if that happens when she comes to your country something to really think about because i uh, know it does bother a lot of men who bring a super attractive filipina to their western country and finally do you want your filipina to have children or not have children so is it okay if she's got her own children already or you don't want her to have any children already and going forward do you want to have children with her and does she want more children or not big question and something you really need to determine in your own mind because if she's got children already a child or children and you then you're going to be in time responsible for those children you will have to bring them up and look after them as your own or alternatively if she doesn't have children at the moment but she may want children in the future is that in line with your plans and are you prepared to be a father again especially if you're an older man and all that goes with having a new baby and everything around that so i'm sure i don't need to go into more detail on that for you guys you can sort of visualize what that's all about and whether or not that's suitable for you anyway guys that's the end of this video i hope that it's given you plenty to think about and i hope that it'll help you sit back and start to get a list or something in your mind about the type of filipina that you're really looking for because that will really help when you start your search for a filipina that you've got very clear in your mind the particular type of woman you're searching for because when all these women may approach you so especially if you're on a, a dating site um, or if you're on a, a facebook group where there's filipinas then you will know which ones to avoid which ones you're attracted to which ones you're searching for and you'll be able to cut through a lot of the filipinas that you already know you're not compatible with so guys if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share the video around with anyone who may enjoy it and all your networks comment below what you've thought about this uh, episode of dating a filipina course and of course give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos in the next episode we'll be looking at knowledge is power so we'll be arming you with all the understanding around types of love scams and the red flags to look for while you're searching for your filipina so you won't get scammed and you'll know which ones are genuine and which ones are not genuine very early on and that will save you a heap of time when you're searching for your filipina and it will give you the very best chance of finding a successful relationship with a beautiful filipina so guys thanks very much for watching i appreciate all your support and we'll see you in the next episode of all about the philippines dating a filipina course take care and bye for now.